Okay, so now we have gone through the entire part of plan quality management, the crowd trainings, interactive PMP prep course. Let's now look at and review what we have gone through in terms of inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques. So starting, of course, with the inputs. For the plan, well, we need to have the project management plan. And the project management plan includes all the other pieces of the plan. So quality planning is part of it. So you're going to naturally have to think about how this plan of quality management fits in with the other plans that are out there. But even before that, we can talk about the charter itself, because the charter too, as the project charter, is giving information about the purpose, the needs, the direction of the project, which naturally means the quality. How are we going to meet quality in terms of customer satisfaction or any other standards that we have set upon us? And so we need that input to give us guidance. Additionally, we need or can use various different project documents. Those documents can range from the risk register to the uh, stakeholder register, because if obviously mm -hmm. we're trying to meet the expectations of stakeholders, well, we have to know who those stakeholders are and what their needs and expectations and influence, etc., cetera, is. Um, and then the other two that we commonly see almost in every process is the enterprise environmental factors, or EEF, and those uh, have to do with the industry you work in, the business, the culture, the, um, the project organization, the environment that you are working in. So if we work in a very strict policy procedure type environment, let's say we're making medical equipment and their the <laughs> quality expectations are very rigorous and the tolerance of any kind of rejection or failure, you know, is, is going to be much different than in a startup company where we're just going to keep breaking things until it works. That's in enterprise environmental factors. In a similar note, you have your organizational process assets. Those are your um, various different policies, your templates, your uh, um, other kind of documents or uh, maybe lessons learned repositories that might exist within your organization and that could be of use. All right, so those are the inputs. Now let's go into the various tools and techniques of planning quality management. One being your expert judgment. So I'm gonna draw my little expert here and the thinking behind expert judgment is that there are various people in the know, whether it's you, whether it's uh, you, well, especially in quality management, you're probably going to have quality professionals who know the standards and the methodologies for collecting the data and setting up the right metrics and performing quality control, etc. Um, also, if we are going to have to figure out how to plan our quality management, well, then we have to figure out what that is. And so we have to collect a little bit of gather, or I'm sorry, gather the data around what it is. So, you know, setting ourselves to a benchmark to compare ourselves with others in the industry or against the industry standards, maybe even um, just talking with our various customers and users and saying, hey, what is it that you want? You know, what are you looking for? And, and getting their expectations. So this here was expert judgment. Um, beyond that, we also have to realize that there is a cost for our quality. So when we think about that, we have to put it in a scale and evaluate, well, if we put more quality into something, there could be more cost to it. And does that benefit? Is it worth the value? Because as we talked about, there's costs for non-conformance and there's costs for conformance. Um, also, we can represent the data in many different ways. And so this is what we call data representation, where we have, uh, let's say, a flow chart looking at maybe our streamline of how our work is going, how a process is going, or maybe how we um, do our quality checks, whatever the case might be, how we're planning to manage the quality. We can use these various tools such as um, matrix diagrams and flow charts, etc. Um, also, we're going to have to figure out if we're in fact 
going to run tests. Um, well, that was attempt to draw a thermometer, but <laughs> it didn't work out. Uh, but if we have, um, let's say, various different methods for collecting data, and we have these various gauges and tools, and we have to have expect um, inspection plans of how often, how frequent, when are we going to do this, and where, and how, and whom, and all that kind of stuff. So we have to have uh, test and inspection planning. So what is the mode of inspection? When is it going to happen? By whom? How often? Are we going to use a check sheet? Um, how many measurements do they have to take? All that kind of planning is in thought. And then the last one, at the tools and techniques, is our meetings because if we're planning anything we need to have conversations we need to talk things over we need to have video calls we have to have one-on-one -on -one meetings and that is a very powerful and common element of all tools and techniques all right those are the tools and techniques let's move on to the outputs obvious one if we're all about making the plans for how to manage the quality of the project well then no doubt at all we should have a plan so this plan however it is is going to kind of guidelines and, and uh, the tools and the methodology that we're going to use or approaches for quality that could also be reflective in then the metrics that we've determined that are going to be used for our measurement of the quality, when we're going to do it, how we're going to do it, um, what are we looking for. And then that is a plan, and so there could also be other updates to the other project management plans. And so that would mean that is another output, the updates. And there could also be updates to various project documents, such as the stakeholder register could be updated because it is um, being manipulated or somehow or changed somehow because of what we've learned here so there could be st document updates and um, that really concludes the inputs outputs tools and techniques of the plan quality management and as you see pretty straightforward and I think you got it so that is plan quality management in the sixth edition of the PMBOK